so today's video is going to be a continuation of my one brand tutorial. Today's brand is NARS, and I just did a, a review, the first impression of the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. So that's all I have on my face right now, other than my skincare and my primer. Let's go ahead and start out with concealer. Um, now I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in vanilla, which is the second shade. I think there's Chantilly, then vanilla, then custard. This is super light like super light for me. Um, I'm going to press it in with my foundation brush because my foundation brush has the medium tone foundation still on it a little bit. And maybe that'll help blend out the super light concealer. For my lips today, I'm going to be using NARS Audacious Lipstick in Greta. So this is like a hot red pink, a pinky red. Um, Sephora website describes Greta as wild azalea. So the lip liner I'm using is Max Beat. So I lined my lips and I did a little bit of extra liner on the inner part, on the outer corners kind of drew it in just a little bit. Now I'm going to um, set my under eye concealer. I should have done this first. I'm using the MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Plus. It's super light, but so is the concealer I used. I wanted a little bit more coverage. I felt like the concealer still didn't do that good of a job at covering my under eye circles, and I think it's because it's just super light. So... For contour, really quickly, it's not a NARS product. I'm going to be using Max Blush in Taupe. This is a Real Techniques brush. I don't know the name of it because it has worn off. It just adds a little bit more definition to the cheek. So. Then I'm going in with a smaller brush. This is a blending brush for eyeshadow. And I'm using that same color taupe to contour the sides of my nose. A little bit under the lower lip. Okay, for bronzer, I'm using NARS Laguna, the tapered face brush. But any old fluffy brush will do. And this color is pretty light. It's not like the darkest bronzer I have. So... It still gives you a really gorgeous glow, but it's not that dark. And I also use this bronzer to kind of blend out the contour with the fluffy brush. I just kind of blend the two together. For blush, I'm using NARS Sin, just like a berry kind of color. It's definitely got some purple to it. You don't need much of this. It's pretty pigmented. I'm actually using the same brush as the bronzer. I tend to do that a lot. Because I like to blend the two together, so I don't mind using the same brush for two steps. To me, it makes a more seamless application instead of like stripe, stripe, stripe. Okay, so that's NARS Sin. It's a little bit powerful, but I'm going to use um, highlighter, which will kind of take the edge off the top. For that, I'm using NARS Albatross um, Blush, which we all know that ain't no blush. I'm using a no-name brand uh, fan brush. Placing that. It's a very golden highlight right at the top of the cheeks. I love this color. And then I'm wrapping it around the outer like eyebrow, up, stopping at the arch, and that makes like a C. Then I use my finger and I tap on the center and tap it on the nose, Cupid's bow. I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows and prime my eyes and I'll be right back. So this is the eye look we're going to create on this eye. So rather than using a traditional eye primer today, or for an eye base today, I'm using the Tarte Emphasize um, Amazonian Clay Waterproof Eyeshadow. It's a cream shadow in Shimmering Plum. And it is exactly what it sounds like, Shimmering Plum. So I'm just going to tap that on the lid. I'm not worrying about being too precise or anything because there are tons of layers going on in this eye look. So I really just thought, all right, use a purple base if you have a purple base. If you don't have a purple base, that, that step is totally... Um, not necessary. Then I went in with NARS Laguna bronzer as my transition shade to help it fade out. 
um, to help everything kind of fade out a little bit more naturally. And then I went in with my brow bone and my inner corner of the eye shade. For that, I actually pulled in a Milani shadow. I pulled in two Milani products in this eye look because I just needed I needed a brow bone shade and I needed a deepening shade, so I didn't have those in, in NARS. This is uh, Milani Bella Eyes Bella Chiffon. And I'm putting that on a pencil brush and applying that right under the brow bone. Right under the brow on the brow bone. And then I'm also taking that on the inner corner here. Okay, so now we have a good base for the eye look. And then I'm going in with black. Now this is Milani Bella Black. It's a satin matte shade. And um, it's basically just black. And this is the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. Just a very dense, um, like very hard, dense brush. So I'm putting just some black on that brush. And I'm going to define the outer V area and the crease. And I'm actually taking it out just a little bit in a triangle. You can see here how I kind of winged it out just a bit. Without doing an eyeliner wing, um, I winged it out using eyeshadows. So that's all I'm going to do. I know it looks terrible, but don't worry, we'll fix it. Now, the star is the NARS um, Dual Intensity Eyeshadow. This one is in DB. And it's kind of like a foiled, beautiful foiled purple color. So I'm going to use this shade um, and pack it on a lid, wet, uh, dry, and then wet on top, and try to blend the purple with the black. So we'll worry about the upper part with more blending. Obviously, we're going to have to touch that up. But first, I'm just applying the purple to the lid with my finger. Um, and then, and dry. And now I'm going to go in with a brush wet. You can use water, you can use Fix Plus, you can use, um, from MAC, you can use eye drops. Whatever you have, um, one of your setting sprays. This is the e.l.f. contour brush. It's pretty tiny. But it was some MAC Fix Plus, and now I am tapping it on the lid. And this adds just like that extra layer of purple. And I'm trying to concentrate here on the blending between the black and the purple. Then I'm going in with another NARS eyeshadow. This is NARS Dual Intensity Eyeshadow in Dion, which is more of like a silver, kind of like a silver pewter gray with a little bit of tan, like a silver taupe maybe? It's hard to describe. On a Sigma E40 pencil brush and I'm actually blending where that purple touches the inner corner with the silver color kind of another a transition from black, purple, to silver, to white. It's kind of how I'm thinking about it. Now, for the fun part, blending the upper area. I'm going back in with the original brush that I had NARS Laguna Bronzer on. And we're just going to blend that like crazy. And don't be afraid to take your blending brush down onto the black and onto the purple as necessary. You can always switch to a clean blending brush if you feel like your blending brush has gotten too dirty to blend. Then I went in with the NARS Larger Than Life Via Veneto Eyeliner and I lined the upper tight line, the water line, and the upper lash line. So for the lower lash line, I took NARS Laguna on a fluffy brush and just kind of blended it beneath the eye look. And then I took um, the purple intensity shadow and put it right under the lower lash line as well and then applied some mascara down there. Guys, okay, so this is the finished look. You could totally rock it with a nude lip if you're not into the dark eyes and a bright lip look, but I wanted to do something different, get some color into some of my looks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what kind of looks you want to see next and stay tuned for my 1000 subscriber giveaway coming to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.